thanks to the warmth of the sun, the first planet can condense its energy further into hazes. In the heart of this planet, the hazes have been so strongly condensed after millions of years that they can split and divide themselves into very small particles. At this moment, individual life is born, which we will later call the human being. These cells have the same characteristics as the hazes from which they originated. They connect and split themselves so that a new life originates. And this will be the first of their children. The parent cells have completed their first life in this way. Their soul releases this cell body and a while later it is ready to reincarnate into a new cell body. In this second life they can have new experiences and it continues like this. Life after life they expand and grow in this way to what we can now call the fish stage. In contrast to the fish on earth which belong to the animal kingdom here on the first planet, we will only follow the human soul in its physical evolution stage. The human soul builds life after life on the growth of its body. It goes a step further with each reincarnation. From its first life as a cell, the soul is building up the human form, which will appear on Earth much later. The highest state that the soul reaches on the first planet is the watery consciousness of an organism, which is similar to the earthly sea lion. In this water, we fully experience everything that our body allows us to, such as moving, eating, sleeping, and mating. When we have grown out of this water, we are faced with the next milestone in our evolution, life on land. On the mainland, we will start to raise ourselves up and we can build up a land consciousness, which will be much richer in variety and challenges. But on the first planet, the sun does not give enough light and warmth here in order to condense, to harden the land and our bodies. Consequently, all life remains watery. When the soul has completed its last life on this first planet, the first cosmic grade of life, it goes on its way to new development opportunities. At the moment, when the first souls leave this planet, new souls are still being born in the heart of this same planet. These new souls now begin for the first time with their first cell life, and they will only reach the sea lion stage millions of lives later, in order then to begin their journey just like the first souls, to the next planet on the second cosmic grade of life. On the next planet, the first souls develop their body again from a cell to a sea lion-like organism. But because the sun is stronger here in this new solar system, it gives more warmth. The body gets more material strength, and in this way, a life on land is possible. Because of the will to move on land, after many lives, legs are formed. Step by step, the watery body condenses into a land organism. Life on land gives us many new experiences, such as searching for food, which no longer floats past as in the water. This searching for food produces feelings, which we can call instinct. The body gives us the feeling of hunger, and when we cannot still that hunger, we feel weak and anxious. All these physical feelings bring working and movement into our life of feeling. Our feeling keeps pace with the wonderful body, which we develop on the mother planet of the second cosmic grade of life, Mars. Then, the planet was still green and full of life. On the following planets, we refine our wonderful form into the human body on the mother planet of the third cosmic grade of life, Earth. 
On Earth, our life of feeling develops itself into a stage which we can call the animal-like consciousness. <laughs> 